And now we want to tell you about a raw new look at life on the front lines for police. Several cities are putting into place state-of-the-art technology, technology the policemen actually wear that documents every moment, every dramatic moment as they chase suspects through the streets. One of those cities is Cincinnati, and Pierre Thomas has seen the pictures. Stop now! You're now standing in the shoes of a Cincinnati police officer, seeing what he sees as a dangerous encounter unfolds. Clear him for guns. A tiny camera mounted on a headset, worn by the officer. A microphone is attached to the policeman's uniform. A computer on the device captures everything that happens. Watch as a female police officer with a taser is in hot pursuit of a suspect who is accused of terrorizing a store. She describes the suspect as she calls for backup. Red hoodie, blue jeans, white gym shoes. I'm going to tase you if you don't stop. The officer tries to subdue the suspect with the taser. It doesn't work. Get on the ground. you have got my taser. The officer draws her gun. Backup arrives. We asked 30-year police veteran Luke Cannon to dissect what he called a potentially lethal confrontation. At the moment the suspect starts to run, what's going through the officer's mind? She is assessing the situation. She's looking at her opponent, if you will. She's looking at size. She's looking at bulk. Now, she tases him, and it doesn't work. We have a problem. He's got in control of the taser. That's a critical point. She's got a lot of decisions to make. A lot of decisions to make right now. If he turns the taser on her, she can become incapacitated. He can then get her weapon. Mom, What's the basic training? Your basic training is, first of all, keep control of the situation. Maintain your safe distance. Do not get into the kill zone. She di diverts the suspect's attention. The other officer is able to come in, make a move, and take the suspect to the ground. This could have been a lot more bloody than it ended up being, right? This could have possibly ended in a fatality, but it didn't. Authorities say the new system records hard evidence that's nearly unassailable in court. It is the next giant step for law enforcement in America. But not all police love the new system. Some consider it invasive, a sign they are not trusted. It is kind of like Big Brother's watching over you. Before all this wonderful technology became available, you went into the courtroom, you swore to tell the truth. That was how it worked. Like it or not, authorities believe this technology is probably coming to a police force near you. Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Cincinnati.